Allahu Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes, assalamu alaikum, bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kash. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Jazakallah uh, khair. So the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for our trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art, it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem. And second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry, and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry, is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate, so no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them and that's something very personal and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Rican Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Deaf Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Sahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theater in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Sahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so welcome. Okay, so the next, who's the next poet? 
is going to come up. I believe it's Dean, Rhymes, and Life. I don't know if I said it properly. Did I say it properly? Oh, there. Yeah, Dean's Rhymes <laughs> and Life. Please introduce yourself. Okay, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, I'm Dean Rhymes and Life, and I'm from London. I'm a poet from London. At the moment, it's 1.30 a.m. in London, so um, as you can you'd assume everyone's asleep. Um, so I've been doing this poetry thing for a few years. Um, I've been writing for a long time, and yeah, I thought I'd get involved. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, please do follow me at uh, Dean Rhymes and Life uh, on Instagram, and I'll follow you back, inshallah. And I'd just like to thank you all uh, to the organizers for allowing me this opportunity. Jazakallah khairan to you all for selecting me and giving me this opportunity, even though we're quite late in, late in the day. Alhamdulillah, I'm very glad to participate. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we're, we're very excited to hear what you have to say, uh, inshallah. I do remember um, reading your poem and it was definitely one of the very strong ones. So I'm very happy that our audience are going to be able to um, appreciate that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. The stage is yours, brother. Go. Now, this piece I'm going to read is called, uh, called Ilm and Amal, which means knowledge and action in Arabic. And it's actually it speaks about the virtues and the emphasis of teaching sacred knowledge and what virtues it carries and also the importance of learning this knowledge and then implementing it in our lives and how it will benefit us in the hereafter inshallah so i pray and hope that you all can benefit from this poem of mine inshallah Bismillah. how potent is this pen that it decodes the notions enclosed within this head i tread a path where angel wings lower in respect Forgiveness flowing with each breath from those who tread on land and the ocean in its depth. For the ones who seek pearls of wisdom, words and pictures from the cradle of birth till crimson is purged like ink that was spurt from a broken nib as his soul exits and sinks to the earth at this instance. Sip at the oasis of knowledge, quench it with a pen tip. Drink from the fountain of scholarship, sit where the scholars sit, eyes closed ears open, your eye focus as though I'm hearing the words straight from the prophet's lips, students retrieving deep and dark secrets and promises from their teacher's sarcophagus, decipher scripts, Arabic hieroglyphs, till you can paint an enlightened pic, papyrus ink, light a lantern, ignite a wick, inspire a kid, let a few lifeless live. People like myself, embezzled laymen can never reach such a level station like the ones immersed in narrations and revelation. If you want to taste and smell heaven's fragrance, I suggest you ponder upon prophetic statements. I'm 0% human, just 100% submitted slave till I'm left humble and dead in the floor. With my hair flipping grey, I seek a reward you can never fathom. Let alone imagine, remember my father Adam, remember my father Adam, a cluster of earthly atoms who was most perfectly gathered, who was most perfectly fashioned who Allah had been advertently banished and taught him forgiveness using the perfect of manners. Thus we learn that seeking pleasure and solace in God is the purpose of sadness. If knowledge is a guiding light, only the rightly guided can possess this flame. I won't pretend I'm neither wretch nor saint. I just, I just, I'll be content with less than a pencil or grain, just crave that my pen connects with page to be or not to be the most blessed in this pencil game. We send salutations when you profess his name, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the deepest clefts of every believer's chest till the extension of his mention is stressed in every breath we take. So now, like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we talk, walk, sleep, rest and dress the same. We pray that with prophets we're raised, that the humble student never, forget, the humble student never forgets his state, the slave of Allah, the owner of all respect and praise, the king, the sovereign, the omnipotent, the owner of the solar system. I invoke his holy system enclosed in spoken scriptures. He owns my soul and kingdom and everything beyond my scope of vision. I'll be close when I. I invoke his holy ism enclosed in spoken scriptures. He owns my soul and kingdom, everything beyond my scope of vision. I'll be beyond my scope of vision. I'm, I'll maybe cloaked in clothing skin, but I'm just a coder of pope and fiction. My flow is colder than a bowl of frozen crystals every bar. I rap and present his way over your head like a missile to your brain. You best stay woke like folk at Christmas. I spit prose that will split domes to give hope to the old and children and flow the whole distance until my voice goes and my bones are all broken, injured. Once you're gone, the knowledge and actions you've left behind will transcend the realms of time. So remember, so remember, ilm, 
ilm and amal is the soul to that very soul to, is the soul to that very thobe you sit until you're cloaked in robes and encroach that hole that you'll be digged in no breath to hold breathless as malakul mot will approach with his henchmen you'll be quizzed and probed about how you rolled who you chilled with giving witness about the lies you spent life and how you lived it even at this instance questioned about the blood flow through your own nervous system so in other words my bros and sisters ilm and amal knowledge and action is the soul to your whole existence Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khairan for listening. I hope you all benefited and I hope you all enjoyed it. MashaAllah. <laughs> um, I just want to say, brother, um, it's not so much uh, that it's about enjoying it, it's the words were extremely, extremely powerful and it brought it back to exactly the purpose of why we are here and why we are doing what we're doing, which is calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, yeah. thank you, Jazakallah so much for doing that. I think Sister Tahani had something to say. I, I interrupted. No, no, I was just saying, Masha'Allah, uh, you know, you were up, uh, you're up uh, very late. You're getting ready for Ramadan. Just uh, see yourself uh, preparing for Ramadan, yeah. Masha'Allah. Very, very um, strong words, Masha'Allah. May Allah reward you and continue on this uh, path, Inshallah, of sharing your, your story, Amin. your ideas, Inshallah. Yes, and I completely 100% agree, Allahumma Ameen. Um, your words were not just powerful, relevant, and moving, but I feel like the poetic skill that you use, the internal rhyme, um, the, the kinds of metaphors that you refer to, the way that you relate that to prophetic scripture and things that we as Muslims believe and hold very dear to us, I think that that is really what, what is so, um, so like you you just put it together in such a, a very articulate way i'm actually lost for words so jazakallah khair and um could you share with any budding writers out there how you get inspiration to write things like this and uh what you recommend to them if they are seeking inspiration um just briefly i'd say that if you really want to write about something the topic it should be something that you feel very strongly about so that way, your emotions they won't be just expressed through your, through your body language, at the same time, be express, expressed through your words. So really think about those things that are very personal to you and very important to you as a writer, and let your emotions that you have towards it they be expressed in the words that you write down on your paper. Um, that's, that's a small piece of advice. And continue to write. No one achieves a, a specific level just from the first day. So you need to push yourself and really try implementing different sophisticated styles of rhyme scheme, metaphors, etc. And that's what I really try to do myself every day or whenever I put my pen to paper, I really try to think about this, this is what I had written last time. How can I improve the, the next piece that I'm going to write? So alhamdulillah, we just continue mm. to work here and yeah, that's all really. That's, uh, thank you. That was very beautiful advice. Thank you so much. I think that I, as a spoken word poet, also benefited very heavily from your advice. And I'm sure that everyone out there who is listening appreciated it too. So, Jazakallah Khair. And now you can go and get some rest, inshallah. Or you could pray to Hajjad. The Hajjad. If it's the Hajjad time, it might be past Fajr, actually, because it's actually, no, it's like 1 a.m. in England right now. I think maybe around 2 a.m. The Hajjad is a good time, actually, inshallah. The Hajjad basically <laughs> means for our viewers, <laughs> our viewers, <laughs> our viewers who are non-Muslim, uh, the Hajjad is a, um, how would you describe it? Gosh, I think you're much more eloquent at this than I am. Um, Go for it. Gosh, I think like just the basic description would just be the last third of the night. Um, and it is a time when Allah descends to the lowest heaven and he asks who is asking of me so that I can give him. And um, he, it is a, a very um, special and uh, sacred time in the night as that we Muslims believe is the perfect time to ask Allah for anything. Uh, if there is anything that we seek, if there is anything that we hope that Allah will forgive us and pardon us for that, that is the perfect time for us. So. Yeah, I hope that that's one of the greatest gifts to us, right? Uh, you know, especially right now in this time that we're in, Subhanallah, to Hajjud is a time that, you know, it's we are closest uh, to Allah, and we should be asking for all of the things, not only forgiveness with the stafar and du'a and all of the, all of um, the gifts that Allah has provided for us with our, uh, you know, magnificent uh, religion. Yeah, thank you, Jazakallah. Yes. Um, yeah, that was very heavy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. 
Uh, I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success and I can say Alhamdulillah from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. So, Jazakallah Khair. I want to say a special Jazakallah Khair to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother, so you know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties, so I will be for that. And um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited from an event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you could see me now. Um, no further ado uh, you can find the strangers on instagram our website is in the works inshallah so please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing we hope you enjoyed the letter the final compilation um a lot of heart went into it from our poets and thank you again to everyone and of course assisted the hani you did an amazing job assalamu alaikum and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and had a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we had an amazing level of talent tonight um so may allah reward you all and yeah i'm gonna close it right there and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh